Hello guys, welcome to the C programming tutorial. In today's lecture, we will see how to call a function using call by value and call by reference. First of all, passing parameter to the function means. In previous both lecture, we have done two examples. First of first to add two number and second to find the largest number in which we passed some arguments to the function and that arguments of two types first type may be call by value and second type may be call by reference and what is call by value means in which values of the variables are passed by the calling function to the call function and call by reference in which address of the variables are passed by calling function to the called function in previous lecture we saw that in add to number using some function in which we pass two variable a and b here what we see that we pass two variable first is a and second is b and this is calling function and in call function the value of a and b is copied and in calling called function what changes we will apply to the a and b that changes will be temporary not in the main function and in call by reference our original value will be modified in the called function so today we will see an example of call by value and in the next lecture we will see example to the call by reference in call by value what we will do we will uh, today we will see how to find the factorial and in which we pass argument and call it by value so coming to the turbo c++ now first of all i will forward declare integer fact and uh, pass uh, an argument in a this is forward declaration and why we need this because before uh, definition of function we are going to use this function so compiler must know that how and uh, what is calling into this and uh, suppose integer n and one result now clear the screen printf enter number to find the factorial scanf percent d comma address n now we will just call the function and pass n into it and uh, till now we have not defined the factorial function and so compiler will know that we have a factorial function n with return type integer and uh, one it or it will take argument as integer and we have pass argument n and here print it, print the result the factorial is factorial of percent d is percent d comma n comma result now now we will define the our function and one thing writing in this way will increase the readability of our code and easy to understand for the others int fact integer a now declare a variable int result 1 is equal to 1 and also and another variable i for i is equal to 1 to i smaller or equal to a and i plus plus this is method to find the factorial of number which we have been discussed earlier result 1 is equal to result 1 multiple i and now return what we will return result 1 
so now it's looking fine just compile the code we have no error run the code enter the number to find the factorial that is 5 the factorial of 5 is 120 that's fine here what we are seeing that we just uh, called the function by value here make comment call by value and this is definition of our function and what we have seen that here the as argument our value n is passed and here we just copied the value of n into a and all the modification we are doing in a not in a and the all the modification we will do in a will remain same suppose here we will just uh, for check we will print a a is equal to a plus 1 then what will the value of a the value of a will be 6 if we will pass the value 5 but here the value of n will remain same there will no change in call by value function to the original if we will call the function by its value then there will be no change to the original variable so this is sufficient to the called by call by value in next lecture we will see an example of how to how can we implement the call by reference functions so guys thank you for watching this video and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you